Thank you, Eric. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to thank Golden Boy um, for this opportunity for uh, Team Esquivia's uh, uh, fantastic event. To have the pleasure to be in the same ring with a legend in the sport as Rafael Marquez. Um, obviously, to Fantasy Springs for hosting this great event and to Showtime. It's always a pleasure to work with you, uh, Eric. Make, it makes things easy. Um, Efrain has had a, an interesting road to where he's at today. He's got a couple of uh, setbacks in his career, obviously. But he's never stopped or relinquished the desire to do something. So let me tell you a little bit about Efrain. Uh, a few years ago when he was much younger and he was in the amateurs, his uh, father passed away. He uh, had a long battle um, and, he, and he passed away. But before his uh, father was gone, made him a promise that he was going to, that he was going to become a world champion and he's still looking for that he's on his quest he's going to bounce back and we understand of the legendary fighter that he has in front of him uh, and the tough challenge that he has but uh, I think he's prepared and uh, he's more than, than than ready for this for this battle before I introduce him I'd like to uh, say I've, uh, introduce his team uh, his coach is here. Mr. Dennis Sefner, thank you for being here, Dennis. Um, also, his manager, Eddie Gonzalez, he's been working with for a few years. But without further ado, so I'll tell you all about himself and a few words, Mr. Efrain Esquivias. I want to say thank you to Thank you, Thompson. Thank you to my coach, Dennis. But, you know, been out for, been separate for a couple of years, and now we're back together. And uh, I feel that's like, the best thing I could have done. Made, uh, made, I went back with Dennis, back, back on the drawing board, made the changes that we needed to, and we're stronger than ever. We're coming, we're coming with the game plan, which is something I haven't came on for three years. Now we're strong, we're ready, and um, you know, I'm sorry, I'm not an owner, you know. Um, after this fight, we're going to go for it. This is something that, like Addy said, I promised to my father before he passed away. And uh, I never forgot that. So every day I hope. So every day we go train 100% with the back, with that I'm back in my mind. And I'm, I'm gonna take full advantage of it on Saturday. Thank you guys very much. First and foremost, I want to thank God for just allowing me to be here. Um, I want to thank all of y'all for coming out. I want to thank my team. I want to thank uh, Dre. I want to thank uh, Chris, Lauren, Mr. Slane, my manager, Sharif, um, and Al Heyman for, and Golden Boy for giving me this opportunity. Uh, make no mistake about it, this is a fight that I wanted. I don't talk a lot in the paper, I don't Twitter and tweet and do all that, but this is a fight that I wanted. 
This is a fight that I'm very confident in. I respect Chris Ariel. Chris Ariel is a hell of a fighter. He comes full, he applies a lot of pressure, but um, I don't see anything special, nothing that I can't take care of Saturday. You know, every time Chris Ariel has stepped up, he's lost. Every time. Every time he's stepped up, he's lost. So, you know, him and his trainer, they do a lot of talking. I don't say much, but just know I'm prepared, and they can say whatever they want to say. They know on the seventh, they got to fight. Fight on the seventh. Thank you. Woo! All right, so he says uh, every time I stepped up, uh, I lost a fight. You're not a step up, I'm stepping down to you. Oh! Way the fuck down here. <laughs> Stavern is up here. Thomas Adamick is up here. Clutch goes way up here. You're down here, bro. I'm not stepping up to you. You're a step down. Remember that. And, dude, I didn't have to go on the combine a 40 yard dash because, trust me, I run a six, six seconds 40 yard dash. You know, I'm slow. I don't bench press. I'm, that's not what I do. I'm a boxer. I'm a bread boxer. I've been boxing since I was seven years old. I didn't just start boxing. Just because I could have cut it in the NFL or in fucking football. I didn't come to do that for that. I'm a boxer. I've been boxing my whole life. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to show you something on Saturday. I'm going to prove to you that you don't belong in this sport. Go make a mockery or something else like MM game. I'm sure you do something there good. Dude, I, honestly, I'm telling you right now, man. I'm prepared. I'm more prepared for this fight than I have been in a very long time, man. I'm motivated. And I said, if this man right here beats me, I will honestly consider retiring because there's no way this guy should beat me. None whatsoever. Not the way that I've trained, not the way that I've fought, not the people that I've fought. This guy is nothing to me. I guarantee you. I don't respect him. I respect his stamina and his power. I respect every heavyweight's power. So I gotta be in my P's and Q's about that. As far as watching skills, please hit me with that somewhere else, man. That shit ain't nothing. I'm right here to bring a fight to him, and he's gonna be—he's gonna regret that he took me as a fight. He's gonna regret it. I promise you. I'm gonna make a fight every second, every minute of every round, dude. You fucked up by trying to fight me. <laughs> yeah, that was round one. Again, guys, tickets are still available. You can get them at Fantasy Springs box office. You can call 1-800. 827-2946 or you can get them online at www.fantasyspringsresort.com you don't want to miss it you want to be there if any of you haven't ever been at a top level heavyweight fight you're going to want to be there you can feel the punches from any seat so you guys don't want to miss it thank you again thank you all for being here and we'll close the fighters great thank job, you